Hello, everyone. I'm Catwoman. And I'm Gigi, the Gadget Goddess. And we are your home girls of tech here on the Gadget Chats podcast. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. This is usually the point in the week where we get super silly because we're extremely tired. Yes, uh huh. I'm on silly mode too. You ever been so tired that you behave like you're drunk? That's where we're or at. you're a two year old. That's where I'm at. That's where I am <laughs> yeah. every Thursday. Yeah, Friday I've had a little more rest, but like I told somebody in the chat earlier, I've been up since four thirty this morning. So yeah, Eastern time. Mm-hmm. So let's get the, sh- the the thirst buckets in here because uh, Barry said he is back to reclaim his title. Oh oh oh! He said, "Gotcha, Mike." <laughs> and then Mike West came behind him. Look at here, my co-host is in the building via Facebook. Pew, 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 pew. Get him. <laughs> so I think I came in. I'm all kind of late speaking to people, <laughs> but Lori's here. Hey, Lori. And and I'm excited for Lori because she got mad enough to order a new phone last night. <gasps> Yes. Oh. She has the iPhone things. 11 coming. The iPhone 11. Okay, where you got to tell us your thoughts. Um, Mandy's here. She says she wants all the deets on the Samsung announcement. Yes. We'll do our we'll best. Go through it. Yep. Yeah. Because they covered a lot. They covered more than I knew they were covering. Mm-hmm. There were some things that we didn't know about that they talked about. What's up, Rachel? Hey. Michael's here being greedy as usual. He's full of <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm jealous. jealous. Mm-hmm. I've had salad two days this week. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm 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 making changes. I'm trying to do better. Mm-hmm. That's all you could do. Try. Shay Kennedy's in the building. Hey Sorry. Shay. Look, I had to make sure I what's up, Jake's baby cakes. Hey Jake's baby cakes. Hey girl, hey. Tech King Mike is in the building. Tech King Mike will be going live at nine o'clock. I yeah. should be able to make it today. I did take a hour nap good me too i took a nap on my lunch break (laughs) i haven't done that in a while (laughs) gosh i hate it when it does that as soon as it it jumped Mm -hmm. yeah Lashawn is in the building what's good fam what's up claire she's listening in thanks for listening Mm -hmm. she must have hey we love hey I enjoyed Mila's video this week. Me too. Yeah, I will be honest and tell Catwoman. I was like, 20 minutes. And so I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna listen and multitask while I'm doing it. But the more I started doing it, I would look back and I was like, okay, this is interesting. So mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. Yes, same here. I can't wait. You did a cliffhanger on your first video, ma'am. So <laughs> that's that's funny to me. Mm-hmm. Like most people wait a while. Mm-hmm. She went in with a bang. Uh, perspective gaming. Yo, you've been very visual here lately. Hey. I know he's been busy working, so I know he's working to make these live streams. So we appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Oh, oh, Mandy, are you in North Carolina? I'm in North Carolina too. Oh, cool. My ex husband was in the National Guard. Mm. Vaughn Miller, join us <laughs> to you too. <laughs> and Uno Nice is in the building. Hey, Check girl. for your needs. Hey, look, y'all in here today. Mm-hmm. Sean Williams. Good evening, ladies. Hey, I think I'm at the bottom. Oh, Big Migs too. I miss Big Migs. Where? Uh, oh, there he is. Yep. Twenty minutes. Yes, it's a twenty minute video, but it's good. Yeah. And I, I do like art though. So, yeah. if you're into art. You don't have to be into the fact that she's doing her makeup while she's telling these stories, Mm -hmm. but she's a good storyteller too. So, yep. Go check out Mila. Yes. Check out her new YouTube page. Yas. Okay. Now I think I've covered everybody. Yes. Oh, Scoop. Scoop trying to sneak in here. Hey, Scoop. (laughs) With his intensive memeing. (laughs) Oh, okay. So she's in Virginia. Okay. Okay. So Mila says she needs a new, new phone. Oh, okay. Now you might be in the right place because that's what we talk about around these parts. Yes. <laughs> Especially since uh, Gigi is 
bitexual. I am very bitexual. Mm-hmm. I'm very open about my bitexualness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go on to what is going on with us. Kistas Pasando. So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that if you go to gadgetchats.com, it will take you over to our anchor page where you can listen to the podcast uh, instead of watching it live or watching the replay. So just know that you have an audio version. All right. Hey, Michael Pepper. <laughs> Um, on our YouTube channel, we have 291 subscribers. Thank you. Thank y'all. you. Um, on our Twitter, we have um, 292 followers. That's funny. It's about even, right? So we got <laughs> more. We actually got more. Well, one more on our yeah. Twitter than we do <laughs> on our YouTube. <laughs> well, yeah. On our Instagram, we have 180 followers. And um, on our Facebook, we have, why did they put all the way at the bottom right here? 96 <laughs> people following us. And then on our Twitch, we have 14 people following us. Yeah. Thank you guys for uh, taking a ride with us and chilling with us and all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Look, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the record, anything we cover. Is in the show notes in the description. Yes. Please. Links for everything. Yep. So our creator shout out today is Mila Such NYC. Are y'all surprised? I'm not surprised because she's amazing. <laughs> so Mila just started a YouTube. This, uh, she posted her first video this Monday. She's going to be posting another video tomorrow as she states here on her banner channel. She does videos every Monday and Friday. So turn on that Ooh, bell, y'all. Turn I on that can't bell. wait. Yes. And look at her. She already has over 100 views and she has 20 people subscribed to her. Yes, please, 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 please. Wow, please. did we just start this Monday? Yeah, yeah, right? She's already getting traction. Girl. Yeah. I would be like you when I grew up. <laughs> I know, right? We put all her links on there so you can follow her, subscribe to her on YouTube, uh, follow her on Instagram. Okay. Look at her. She got a lot of followers. Pew, 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 pew. Um, she also has a Pinterest as well. So check her out on Pinterest. So these are all of her uh, accessories that she shows on her Pinterest. Um, also, she is on Twitter as well. And then, um, this is her store. So she actually has an online store. Oh, she um, got candles. I'm a candle queen. Yes. That out. Yes. So she um, does different types of drawings and paintings, and she puts them on accessories like masks, scarves, candles. Check out her shop. It's amazing. Really just trying to take all our money, huh? Yes. Fun fact about her as well. She um, is also in Neiman Market as well. So. Ah! Oh, you big time. Big time. She big time. She is an artist. She is well, we going to double back to this comment here. Okay. Right. Well, we'll talk about that later on. Yes, yeah. For sure. for sure. Yeah. So check out her channel. Um, my sister, Blanca, she got a scarf from her. It was um, um, the skull one. This one right here. This picture. But mm-hmm. in a skull. Uh, but in a scarf. And, oh, my gosh, she looks so pretty in it, and she's so happy with it. So just wanted to give you guys and let let you guys know that, okay? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Love you, Mila. Hope you keep growing and post the videos. I'm proud of you for finally doing it. (laughs) Girl, now that you're in it, you can't get out. Nope. It's like a gang. Yeah. I threaten to quit all the time, but my heart loves it. I, I have to say, even though I'm tired all the time. Yes. I enjoy being here. Same here. I feel the same way. Even though I'm tired, like I wouldn't trade, uh, you know, doing media and editing and stuff. It's just fun. Oh, yeah. And and anytime, you know, you want to, you, you come by my live stream, you ever want to come on and panel, you don't have to be a techie to be on my panel. That's why I like diversity. I like different people to come in with different opinions. So we'll probably Absolutely. invite you here too. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking for my personal page now. I'd love to have you on some night. Yes, the more the merrier. Yeah. Just get that exposure of y'all. Yeah. Again, all the links are in the description. Uh, oh, did, our bot is here. Yes, our bot is here on time and in full effect. 
Um, also wanted to uh, toot uh, Gigi's horn. She got 1,300 subs. Yay, you go, girl. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> we believe in you. Yeah. I just, it still hadn't been a year yet. Mm -hmm. It hasn't even been a year. You already got memberships. You're monetized. You got a good amount of subs. You're doing amazing. I'm very, very proud of you. You work really, really hard. You put out videos consistently. You're always working on your craft. I'm very, very, very proud of you. Oh, stop it. You're going to make me blush. You're already blushing. I'm going to make <laughs> you blush some more. <laughs> it has been fun, though. And that's what I'm... I'm not gonna let it stress me out. I'm I'm having fun. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm having fun, it's not too bad. Yes. Um, so LaShawn said that the bot is late. The bot is not late. It only no. it, it starts, it does it every five minutes. So it, that's why it doesn't come. Yeah, on the bot the right. won't ever be here on time. It has yeah. it has to make sure you're live, like you're really live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and then over here. Yeah, let's toot. Catwoman's horn. Yeah. Catwoman has a video that has hit a million views. A million. A, a million. You know, when I first saw this video get like oh, got to a, over a hundred thousand views, I was like, I wonder if it will ever get to a million. And it was sitting at nine hundred thousand for a good three months. And now that it finally got there, I feel really, really, really happy. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Um, I know that this video helped a lot of people during the pandemic. And I think that's what means more to me more than just the views. But just, you know, kind of just that reminder, like, hey, you got to a million. Like, it's just one video. It's not viral, but... Um, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, yeah. It's just... it's. I don't have any there. that have hit 50,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there. You'll get there, I'm sure of it. Hey, Emily's here. Hey, Emily. Speaking like of there's Emily, so many Emily's. <laughs> I know Emily Wilson. For those who are listening and don't see uh, Emily, it's right. Emily Wilson. So I'm glad that she actually brought her up because um, she is going to be on Gadget Chats next week, not as a guest, yeah. but as a panel member. So yeah. we're going to get her opinions on articles and tech woes and all that fun stuff so yay she's wanted it to come on again and we wanted it to have her so she said okay to being a um a panel member instead of just a guest yeah yes and i'm looking forward to it i enjoyed her energy when she was on the show mm -hmm. and yeah yeah and look, then look at it how much money did you get for one million views? Um, I can tell you guys. I think, um, actually, let me go check. I'm not going to show you guys. But <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I think it was 800 in total. That's how much it really? was. Yeah. Let me... That's pretty amazing. Yeah, about $800 Look, in total. It's still like Chinese math to me when I go look at stuff. I'm like. Yeah, because the, you know what? I'm not going to spend time pulling it up. But. Yes, it was around 800 total from the life of it because there was also a point in time when I wasn't monetized and that video helped me get monetized. So in total, it was about $800 that I got for that video. So, um, and that's over the life of the video. It's not yes. like they just said, here's $800. Yeah, so I'll just get like 100 here. Yeah, there I know a lot of people, If when I wasn't on YouTube, it was hard for me to understand when people explain certain things like that. I understand now mm -hmm. because like, it's funny I have that case sitting here. Out of all my fold video fold case videos, this one has gotten me the most money. Yeah. And it's not even one of my favorite cases, but people seem to be crazy interested in it. Yeah. Like even more so than me removing the screen protectors from the phone. So this case has earned me like Fourteen dollars so far. Yeah, you never but, know what people are gonna resonate with. So just put it out there. Just whenever you make a video, just think about that you're trying to help someone and give someone and inform them as much as possible. You never know who is gonna help, and it's just gonna take off. Yeah. So. And then also wanted to announce that the week after next, so on the 28th, on Thursday, we are going to have a guest, and that is going to be Swarthy Daisy. She agreed to come on as a guest. I know usually we, like, wait the week of to say it and stuff. Or the week but before. I don't, 
Yeah, I don't think she's gonna cancel on us. So I'm confident <laughs> <laughs> it's saying that. But if she's you like, don't remember, she was our feat our content creator feature last week. Yeah. So that's who we're having on next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're really excited. Um, she's not going to show her face. She's just only going to be her avatar. And that is OK. We welcome people. We just want their opinions. We want them to be themselves and to have really good dialogue about tech. <laughs> <laughs> so Latrell's here. Hey, Latrell. Yeah. When are you going to be on Easy's panel? That's what I need to know. Yeah, I've, I've noticed he went live last night, but I couldn't drift over there because I was on easy stream. So mm -hmm. he started to go live here yeah. <laughs> lately. So. so we got some tech deals. Tech deals. Well, it's only one tech deal because okay. I figured since we were talking about the S21, let's put up the deal for the S21. Okay. All right. I just changed it to just tech deal since it's just one. <laughs> Look at you changing things on the fly. <laughs> the category is tech deals. You could have left it, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Schematics. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is the phone that they talked about today, the Galaxy S21. So if you trade your iPhone 12 or a Note 20S or an, just an S20, uh, you'll get money back for it. So the trade-in deals are... 700 for the iPhone 12 for the iPhone 12 Pro is 700 so all those iPhones are seven all the iPhone 12 wow. every iPhone regardless of which model you turn in you're only getting 700 dollars even the mini yeah yeah but people paid a lot for the pro I don't think they would like oh, this look, one. you had to pry it out of my cold dead hand okay especially since it just came out what right. like two months ago right like okay That's anyways they dipping some people out here. Mm -hmm. And then the um, S25 G, that one is 700. And so is the Ultra. And so, okay, I don't understand this. So why is it that these companies come out with different models and they charge you extra for it, but when they but want it back, they in. lump them all together? Yeah. I don't think that's fair. I just, I'm just putting that out there. So it's 700 across the board. I, I don't, I, this that doesn't have been our keep right. like energy. Like, but I didn't even realize the trade ins were like this until we started looking at them. Yeah, that does, I, that this does not sit right with me. I'm just going to call it like I see it, as Eric likes to say. Well, when you say the mini is getting the same as the Pro Max? Yes, the mini, the same as the Pro Max. How I am. Much any cost it's not that expensive is it um i don't remember let me ask google google <laughs> i'm not audio you, you guys you sound fine well to me you do okay i can't speak for them is she low y'all yeah am i low or am i too loud you know we don't like being too loud either we don't want to blow each other out <laughs> only blow kisses <laughs> <laughs> Price. Um, okay. There it is. Oh, it's $7.99, I think. $6.99. Oh. Okay. So it's like it's a wash, basically. Yeah. But, but at least you get your money back. Exactly. The pro, you only getting seven hundo for it. I'd be I... great if you And who is it that is doing this? It's Samsung. Oh, from Samsung. Well, you lost me. I wouldn't, uh, you know, we're talking well, about you lost video, me I I'm still on the fold situation. If True. the fold wasn't so wonderful, mm -hmm. I might consider another phone. Yeah. As I sit here waiting for my blingy case to come in, my <laughs> second blingy case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tech Freeney said you found perfect. Thank you. I didn't post this this um headset. But you I should forgot. have. I forgot about it. Yeah, I've been. Gigi was the one who put everything together tonight. It's like a, so, we, we don't do it on purpose, but we kind of yeah. trade sometimes. Because I was like, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna take a nap. She's like, all right, take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but at least Samsung is offering something. Yes. So yeah. I remember when they wouldn't even offer anything. And they said if you pre-order today, you get a two hundred dollar Samsung credit and a free smart tag. Oh, yeah, I'm interested in that smart tag. 
why are you interested in it? Look, we can't go into that right now. We're going to yeah. talk about that. We're okay, gonna we're going to talk about it. Are we okay. going to talk about it now? No. Okay. Why is this here? Okay. I'm sorry. We're going to talk about uh, purchases, tech purchases. And technically, I didn't purchase these. These were sent to me by Snail. Snail. Like, <laughs> like is it Armadillo Tech or Snail? Snail. Snail. Right here. Beautiful, beautiful Snail. So I've always gotten on Carl for having these big, rugged, throw them against the wall cases. And I'm like, can we have something girly? Can you give me some bling? So they give me leather now. And um, it looks like a book. That's pretty cool. And it's real leather. I smelled it during the video. Mm -hmm. So at least something not so manly from, from Chanel. Mm -hmm. And Catwoman loves the kickstand. I'm not a kickstand person kickstand i don't like that ki type of kickstand though you said it's too low right it's too low i, I need to be higher oh uh, well i'm particular nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. but it was a fun little review to do yeah and she does a little flashback too which is great <laughs> that's your favorite where's part the flash yeah that was where is the flashback i need to find it oh you passed it you passed it you passed oh, it yeah you still passed it. <laughs> oh, I passed it. Here's the flashback. Oh, <laughs> don't copyright strike me, Gigi. I won't. <laughs> so the yeah, the price is pretty good. It's less than twenty dollars, y'all. Well, you the leather one's a little more pricey, but well, I mean it's it's leather. So, yeah, yeah. thirty-five. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. I like it. But check out her video because she does do some like other types of tests that you'll be curious about on how it works. I it reminds me of Harry that. Potter. Yeah. The book is bad. <laughs> I just wish it had stood up by itself. Yeah. I'm giving up stuff, Aaron. <laughs> oh, okay. This is not too low. Yes, it is. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I actually bought the Chanel case for my... Um, Note 20 Ultra, and I couldn't even keep it on for 24 hours because it's just too low. But I'll have it there as a backup in case anything, you know. She's such a great friend like that, Latrell. Yeah, of course. I wish I was more active on Reddit. Like, once I saw my videos on Reddit, I was like, I need to be over here. Yo, you find some pretty cool people on Reddit, especially in r slash glowing red tangles. Yeah. Uh, Juan Vagnell's peoples, like, they find some really cool people that I would have never found because the algorithm doesn't just show you, you know? Yeah. I I enjoyed, I, I hopped over on Reddit and I was like, oh, I'm going to post. Oh, I'm going to post. And they're like, oh no, you got to wait a few minutes because you knew. I'm mm -hmm. like, well, this sucks. Yeah. I know that you guys want to talk about Samsung already. We I don't get there. That's why I saved it for almost last. We also noticed that people kind of come in a little bit like 30, 40 minutes after. Yeah. So that's why we're kind of waiting to talk about our thoughts on the Samsung event and everything like that. I did listen and watch it. So I do have some thoughts and feelers about it. We got a couple of little articles. Like the first one I have is like a follow up to last week. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about uh, WhatsApp making you yes. share your information with Facebook. Yes. And so now you have Signal and Telegram that are blowing up. Yes. Because people are like, I don't want to, I don't want Facebook to have my information. Yes. Yeah. And also Elon Musk said install signal. So that's how oh. people started installing signal as well. And their stock went up too. So yeah. Um, but I do want to say something about signal because I have used it in the past, and this is not the first time a celebrity or a tech person has suggested to use Signal. And um, the person that that has suggested to use Signal was Edward Snowden. This was after he did the interview, what I think it was 60 minutes when he was talking about everything that happened with uh, WikiLeaks and everything. And he was talking about how people should be securing and send messages at, with end-to-end -end encryption. And he said, that we should use Signal. 
Well, I was talking to a friend of mine and we were using Signal for a while. And then she's like, you know what? This app is not really as secure as people think because Signal just told me, hey, so-and-so that had that this person that's in your contact has Signal. So Signal is looking at your contacts and see right. if they also have the app. So, I mean, it's obviously something that you have to turn off, but it's not right off the bat, you have to turn it off. So how can you really, really trust the end-to-end -end encryption for this? So that's something that I wanted to point out about it, about Signal and Telegram. Yes, they do have some type of end-to-end -end encryption, but don't think that it's foolproof, you know? It isn't. So do your research. Don't just go because someone you think is knowledgeable says it. Like actually, go and read and try to find out, is this really what I'm looking for? Because it, it isn't. I wouldn't suggest Signal or Telegram for end-to-end -end encryption conversation. All right. <laughs> Emily said, anything that Musk says feels very, very sus. sus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because there has been certain times where he has given misinformation. and But that just goes the same for any type of celebrity. Just because someone is really knowledgeable about one thing doesn't mean that they're knowledgeable about something else. Like when they take these celebrities and have them do phone commercials, it's just like, we know they don't know jack about these phones, or but they even, sell phones. Or if they they sell makeup, it's like they don't really know about makeup. They, they have a makeup artist come do their makeup. You know, Sometimes they do their own makeup, but a lot of times. Well. Yeah. yeah, or my skin is great because I use proactive. No, you don't. Stop lying. You that never thing, used it a day in your life. <laughs> no, that thing dried out my skin. Ooh, my hyperpigmentation got all the way bad. So Barry chimed in. He said, okay. Signal can be oh, no. extremely secure. The issue is that, is that Apple and Google are reporting back their location all of the time. The only way to combat this is to install a custom wrong without yeah. Google services. And OK, that is thank you for letting us know that. Um, so he said, that concludes my nerd statement of the hour. <laughs> yes. So that's what I'm saying. To be honest with you, there really isn't an app that you can install on your phone that is really secure and has end-to-end -end encryption because all of these services that we have are kind of in a way doxing us, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was an article that I read once where someone took a Google phone I don't remember which Android phone it was, but it, it had data connection. It didn't have a SIM card. It wasn't connected to Wi-Fi. It was just on and it had data. So, you know, got to think about that, y'all. Oh. And then the other article is just another article attached, just talking about the same, you know, why things are surging with Signal. So. Yeah. And I, I understand people really, really want their privacy, but the reality of it is that in, in the digital age, wherever you go, you're leaving a digital footprint. And so you kind of have to pick and choose what you're going to say in, um, in a voice message or how, what you're going to say in a text message, because all of this stuff that we're doing because even with Michael Pepper's statement, I was going to say, even if you turn off location yes. sharing for some apps, it's mandatory. Yes. So you can't use if you don't turn your location off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the that's the trade off. You're connected. You're connected. You're not ever disconnected. So. It's just the reality of it. There's, there's no real way to get around it for right now unless you become unless you become a nerd yourself and then take really all of the precautions that you need to. Hey, hey Cobra. Too. So that's that's your tip of the day. You're sharing when you share, you're sharing with everybody. Yeah. Yep. Just make it feel like it's everybody. Yeah. So T-Mobile's, ne the next article is T-Mobile's network will stop working with over a dozen older phones this month. So the older devices won't connect from January 29th. So this is oh, the cool. countdown. You can listen to, to the article. Favorites. Huh? You can listen to the article on The uh, Verge instead of reading it. This, cool. one of my favorite phones of all time is about to lose life on T-Mobile unless you have their variant. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? The uh, Note Edge. The Note Edge? 
Yeah. Wow. Okay. So these these are the list. So the AT and T Galaxy Note Edge, the AT and T okay. or Verizon Note Four. Oh, okay. HTC Desire? Desire Ten Lifestyle. HTC Desire Six Fifty. The Nexus Nine by Google. The Huawei Mate Eight. The yeah. Huawei P Nine. Wow. The One Plus One. What is that one above that though? I can't pronounce. I it. can't pronounce that. <laughs> Micro Tickless. <laughs> Sia R eleven E L T E six. I want a Micro Tickless. <laughs> I want to know who using that phone. <laughs> it's tickling their Micro. <laughs> <laughs> the Quanta Computer Incorporated Quanta Dragon IR seven. That doesn't even sound like a phone. I know, right? It sounds like a like a PDA. Mm. Yeah, or a laptop. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Five S Five Duo, Sony Xperia Z Three Compact, the Z Three and the Z Three Orion, the Z Three Orion D Six Six One Six. That's weird. <sighs> Soya. <laughs> So, so yeah, these are the ones we haven't heard of. Okay. And the yeah. PTEZ Max. Well, I guess that's probably why they're getting rid of it. But <laughs> I guess it still kind of sucks. <laughs> well, um, I guess you got to upgrade. I hope they find you. A, I hope they find people are able to find good ones. Hey. T-Mobile says affected customers could contact them and arrange an upgrade. I'm sure yeah. the upgrade is going to be some phone that you've never heard of as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess either you could switch carriers or you could upgrade. Yeah, and they said this is like, this is not dealing with their voice over LTE thing that they're pushing. Yeah. But technology is so good right now. Like, why would you not want to upgrade? It, you know, old people be stuck in their ways. Oh, but the phones now are so great. <laughs> All right. So, a uh, next article. Oh, I was feeling like the Z the Z three compact wasn't that old, but yeah. All right. So we're gonna talk about the Galaxy S twenty one. Yeah. Okay, let's it? talk about it. Yeah, that's the next yeah, one. This is it. This is every well, it's not even just the 21. It was everything that Samsung announced today is in this article. Yes. So I tried to find something to blanket everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they and Cena they usually does a good job at doing that, which is great. Okay, first let me ask you this. Out of the announcement, what was the most interesting component or thing that was announced that had you kind of intrigued? Uh the metal around the camera. I wasn't saying the phone, it, just any part. The smart tag, the, the yeah. headphones. Oh, I, so the camera. Out of everything that interests me was the camera hump and the fact that it's metal. So, the phone. so, so you're less likely to break the lens. Okay, so the phone. No, just the camera. Hump. <laughs> but it's the on the phone. It's on the phone, but I don't yeah. really care about the phone. I would have thought it would have been the bugs or the buds or the smart tag. Uh, no. No, I don't like the buds. You don't? No. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Why? Okay. Yeah, I have to understand that Catwoman has buds. Well, because I really like the Galaxy Buds Live, but I just wish it didn't hurt my ears. And so I, when I went back to the regular buds, I felt really sad because I like having it like the open concept. I don't like being shoved in my ear because, you know, people come talk to me and I'm like, eh? I'm like that with any buds though. With with these, I'm like that. These are the pros, pro, yeah. or the Power Beat pros. Mm -hmm. I'm like that with the lives. I'm like, I always hold the finger up, pull it out, and get to talking. Yeah. Um. So that's why I was like, oh, another bud. They don't have smaller live ones. Okay, I'll 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 wait. But I know my husband wants to get it. He definitely wants to get the buds. I have not seen a tag that's discreet tech for your needs i've not seen one like everybody who has tags you can see them but yeah. theirs are at least dark i've seen white like the towel aren't they yes. white yes they're white so i've never had black tags than white ones yeah they do have black ones too oh 
But yeah, and holla at your boy said the buds. The buds had me interested until I saw the tags. But I think the tags had me because I was like, in the end, encryption? Huh. Really? I don't, I don't believe them. I don't believe it's end to end encryption. How is it know. encrypted, but you can pinpoint someone? Barry, can you tell us the schematics? Of that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have an idea for who I want our guest to be next month. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Barry, please tell us about all these connection thingies. We must know. Yeah, because we know that's kind of your... He's probably over there busy doing something. He's like, I'm listening to y'all. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a guest. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I honestly don't I honestly don't believe that it's end-to-end -end encryption. How no, can we pinpoint something out using Google services, AR technology... So that you can walk over and find something exactly where I can it is. Find my dog. But, uh, yeah, and like to the exact spot that it is, but it's encrypted. Ah, you lie to me. Like I, you, mm, I sorry, I don't believe you. I just. Uh, but am I worried about being tracked? I'm already being tracked. I have a phone. Yeah. I got you know, so <laughs> I don't care about that. But do I need it for anything? I don't. Uh, no. no. I I think, it. Like, it's always funny to me when I see somebody at the, well, it's been forever since I flew anywhere, but when you're at the airport and somebody's like, oh, my bag's coming around. I'm like, you can't see your bag coming around? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> that little piece of towel isn't helping you. You can see your bag, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yes, Latrell, they do look thick. They, they're some thick towels. Yeah. Towels are thick. Let me see if I can get a picture of it on here. I wonder if they have one. That's what I'm checking to see. Uh, let me scroll. Keep scrolling. Scrolling. Scroll, scroll. I don't know why I'm so shocked that you don't like the 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 buds. I got. And spoiled. I can feel Sean liking the buds per se because he doesn't care for Samsung. Well, it's the potential, the potential. Like, if only they didn't hurt my ears, I would be using the Galaxy Buds Live. But I only yeah, paid twenty dollars for them, so I'm not too bummed about it. Yeah. Because don't towels have these extended battery life, like like the smart tags say? Uh oh. He said the new towels are slim. Yeah, they are. They're really slim. See, there's some thickums. Thickum shorty thickums. Yeah, shorty thickums. Oh, uh, you know what? Um, <laughs> it's getting confused with tab, like the tab S, and it's trying to correct and find the tags uh, instead of trying to find the well, tags. smart tags. Mm -hmm. I need some pictures. Here we go. Looks like a guitar pick. It does, right? But that's how the tile one looks like too, but they're actually thin. These are not thin, they're thick. And that's probably all that pinpoint technology that supposedly is encrypted. Oh, poor Mandy needs some child earbuds. You know, I found during this pandemic, Mandy, that child masks fit me better than adult masks do. Really? Yes. Wow. So when I wear the adult mask, it likes to go up in my eyes. So I try to wash them and put them in a the dryer so they'll shrink up some. Mm -hmm. But I just ordered some child mask. Guess I don't have a big face. Or the area I need to cover isn't really big. See how it's on here on this traveling bag? It's kind of thick, yeah. I would say. I would agree. It's a little too thick. Oh, yeah. On that picture it is. Uh-huh. I mean, but they all are. Oh, well, they say towel is thinner now, but... When it first came out, it was thick. So I think yeah. you have to go through this stage of this is what we can put in here and make it small mm -hmm. and so they're learning. Yeah. <laughs> Thickums. <laughs> yeah, and Gigi says that about cases. He's like, ooh, just show the thickums over here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch your videos. Hilarious. <laughs> well, yeah. Anybody who has the fold knows that when you get that edge out here when it's real thick and you can't use the swipe gestures. Look at my little person waving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really like that. But uh, yeah, I want my phone to work the way it's supposed to work. Not too many cups over here. I'm trying to find this YouTuber that I, 
I follow that does a lot of. Um, I see Michael Pepper tile. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> that does a lot of tile reviews. Um, tile tracker. In my early panel days, my Michael Pepper, I was very quiet. You yeah, didn't even know. I'm going to put his link in the in the description and show you guys his channel, okay? His name is um, Modern Day Tech, okay? And he does a lot of, like, home tech stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But what he specializes is in talking about tracking, uh, tracking devices, like a tile and stuff. Like, he takes out a little thing and, like, measures it and, like, tells you, like, the centimeters and the millimeters and the weight okay. of the tile, um, he's very, very thorough. That's good. So let me see if I could, um, see, he has so many different kinds. Oh God. Yes. Uh-huh. So, um, I put his link in the description, you guys check out his stuff. Cause he, he goes through it. Let me see if he, if I can see where, he, where he, um, oh yeah. Yeah. This is what he does too, which is really cool. He does, he tests the how loud they are. So when you can find them, he uses one of those, those decibel uh, thingies yeah, that tells you how loud it is. Yeah. And then he uses like one of these little claw clampy thingies. I don't know. Just check out his video, y'all. It's, it's fascinating. I've been watching his stuff about trackers and see, he shows some shorty thickums right there too. See? Ah. Mm -hmm. So many different kinds. It's rechargeable too. Migs, it was scrumptious with a Y, just like Kimmy with a Y. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, your thoughts on the phone, Gigi? Okay, so the phone. I was in transition during all of this, although I was listening. Um, they got through the regular. What was it? The S twenty and the Plus or Pro. Plus. Mm -hmm. And then they went to the Ultra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And so I missed a lot of the ultra stuff. I came in on the end when they started talking about color and how they had to search to find the perfect black. I thought that was too long and drawn out. Actually. Yeah, that was. I was annoyed by that. I'm just like, we got yeah. the best black because we took stuff away from it. We have the, the blackest <laughs> of all blacks and the <laughs> maddest of all mats. <laughs> like, okay. But I mean... For like the trade in deals or whatnot, I don't really see somebody who has an FE going to either one of the any of these phones. Mm -mm. No, if you have the FE, you'll probably stay right there because you wanted a budget phone, you didn't want to trade it in and spend more money. Yeah, my thoughts though, I've never been an S person though. The last S I had was a S7 Edge. Oh, okay, <laughs> shout out to Doodles. The last S I had was the S9 Plus. Yeah. It's, um, uh, I thought it was Phantom Black. Is it not Phantom Black? What's the black called? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was Phantom See, Black. I was in and out too. And yeah. then like, I, I, I need some clarification about the glass. Is it's it Phantom glass black. back or is it plastic back? Or I'm team well, I plastic. I think the only one that's... And they had two pins. Did you Yes. Hear? I did uh, hear about the two pens. Yeah. I, like, I wonder if Eric likes the pens. I guess it depends. There's a funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. My my biggest gripe, and I have I I have to say it in Spanish. Yo no entiendo por qué ellos tienen dificultadmente. Haciendo teléfonos que son grandes y rosados. ¿Por qué los teléfonos rosados son pequeños? Ponlo grande. Yo quiero uno que es grande. ¿6.8? No, 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 no. Estoy sufriendo. Ese rosado se ve tan bonito, pero me lastima que está muy pequeño. No me gusta. Ellos necesitan hacer mejor. That's the most Spanish I've ever heard you speak. I like you might throw stuff here and there. Feel very, very passionate about that. And it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful to hear you speak it. 
Thank Spanish you. is a beautiful language though. Yeah. I just feel like I'm being gypped. They're, they're messing with the pink. How are you going to come out with an actual beautiful rose gold color and make it small? 6.8 inches is not enough. You need to go seven inches or higher. So the, you're right. the ultra, they don't have the pink ultra. Why? I mean, I want the pink. I would have gotten it. I would have gotten it if it was a pink ultra. Because in their mind, they always say that women don't want big phones. I always buy the biggest of the big phones. Me too. I know plenty of females that do. Yeah, I would have gotten like it if they had the big pink hands. one. Give me the big phone. I know lots of men that like smaller phones. That, but that is why I didn't get the um the pink Note 10 because the Note 10 was small. It was the smaller version. It wasn't the highest one. But with this go around, the Ultra, they had a pink one. So I got it. Why couldn't they make a pink Ultra? It kills me. I, I really, 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 really wanted it. It was beautiful, wasn't it, Michael Pepper? <laughs> I'm gonna me have da, her call me and just talk lastima. To me. Me pena. <laughs> I feel really sad. Right. Emily nailed it. We can't most of the time they don't give us pockets, first of all. <laughs> yes. I don't know how they feel women don't need pockets. Mm -hmm. So when they don't give us pockets, all we have is these big purses. And if I can have all of the real estate in the world, like if I'm gonna have all the real estate in the world, why not give me a big phone? Yes. Yes, but but we have big purses anyways, so we can carry. We can carry. Right. We're the ones carrying our husband's phones most of the time, anyway. So if we're putting it in our big purse. This point, I drop bigger, bigger phones less. Same, same, same. I, I can't speak on it. I've dropped both of these phones. <laughs> <laughs> well, less. Not I used to all. don't drop phones, period. But yeah, yeah. I blame it on the pandemic. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I old walk down a flight of 12 to 13 stairs, y'all. Yeah. Not event. Case Sam work. Samsung doesn't want my money. That's that's just it. They just don't. I'm insulted. <laughs> I'm insulted. Yeah, when you when you wanted that pink phone, like my heart went out to cat woman. She's like, no. <laughs> Why they gotta make it small? 6.8. And then she held out hope because you know sometimes Samsung will be like, we're gonna drop that pink version for valentine's day nothing yeah so i'll wait and see i like uh, um the cases that i saw it looks ugly right it does <laughs> the fact that i've seen a female carrying a frying <laughs> pan in the first one <laughs> she was getting ready to cook for someone or fight someone you don't know <laughs> you don't know her story <laughs> she ain't playing no games apparently <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> No, this is not pineapple juice. I care not to share what I'm drinking. Okay. It's not pee either. Oh, it's not pee. I don't drink pee. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I'm silly. It's not pee either. <laughs> it's my, filter, my filter is no, slowly going away. We're not on away. the phone right now, okay? We're not on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to bring my filter back up. I've heard that was just oh okay yeah right like mm. come on man give us some pretty stylish thing in tech we deserve it and we'll spend that money too what we'll spend that money to get I was reading Michael come I'm oh he said I'm Michelle, I've heard salad dressing however she's ready to make dinner. <laughs> We missed something. Is there a pun about dressing dressing up and salad? I he think. said salad dressed, not dressing. Oh, oh I can't read. It's fine. <laughs> a cast iron skillet is a perfect weapon, LOL. I mean, the movie Tangled showed us that it was, so I believe it. So I'm interested in knowing from the chat, which one of these devices interested you the most? And it doesn't have to be the phone. It could yeah. be one of the pins. It could be the smart tag. Like I asked Cat Catwoman, I'm asking y'all, what do y'all have interest in phone yeah. wise? Well, device wise of everything they announced today. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say right now, I've said it before, I'm team uh plastic back. So people that are crying about the plastic back, I I'm happy. I don't have it. a problem with plastic. Mm -hmm. 
But see, I don't wirelessly charge. I, I do very little wireless. You can charge. still wireless charge with plastic. Uh oh, hold on. Oh, okay. She muted herself. <laughs> none of them. Okay. None of them. Okay. All right. None of them. I'm curious Girl, as how the S Pen Pro is going up. to charge. My buds, oh. remember I told you they don't last. Oh, yeah, long. they done didn't died it on you, didn't they? Yeah, they just died it. Mm. So I switch. I wear one, then the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, none. So I did see the statement in the chat earlier from Big Mix that he's looking at the Mi 11. Now, does the fact that Trump blacklisted Xiaomi today affect how you feel about that, any? Oh, they got blacklisted today. I didn't know about that. Well, I put it in the group. Yeah. Oh, dang. It was an article. I would have included it, but it got tweeted to us fairly late this afternoon because it uh -huh. happened today. So, yeah, Xiaomi has been blacklisted. I figured it was coming, but. Yeah. Did they say why? Well, you, you... well I'm sure they said why, but do you believe why? <laughs> I do. I do think we we still want to limit ourselves to just Apple and Samsung. Yeah, I'm exhausted by those two. I am so exhausted by it. between oh, Samsung let me and just Apple. Find the article so I can share because I yes. I don't. You can you can carry on talking though. Yeah, Mix is like repeat one more time. Like he's he's yes, confused. That, that, that happened today. Yeah. Hey, everyday tech. What's up? I'm just going back to see if anybody else said anything about the phones. All right, Catwoman. I'm going to put this in the chat. Oh, hey, Spectacular Gadgets. Oh, I yeah, went really you, far. You real far back. Huh? Yeah, sorry. My finger just scrolled that far. Oh, hi, Tana. I already put that up. I really need you to come back to like oh, real time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> wake up. Wake up, VG. I'll get it together. I am hoping the same DMs, but I just don't like give being given limitations. I can't pull it up because I can't copy and paste here. Oh, here, let me send it to you. Thanks. You're fine. But yeah, again, I was like, oh, if he had sent me this earlier, I would have put it in our, you know, mm -hmm. show notes. Because yeah. I'm sure a lot of people are interested in that phone because I'm interested in the Mi 11. Mm -hmm. But the fold really has my heart. Um, Everyday Tech said that he got two pixels. Yeah, so yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and they're the Pixel 2s? Or just two pixels? Two See? XL. Two XL. Okay. I'm, my brain is like, shut it down. Shut you it don't, down. I don't think you need it's not it's not a severe band as uh the Huawei band. Okay. Yeah, we can share the article mm -hmm. here. Cause he's saying it's connected to the Chinese military. China. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean it is. Yeah, but, but so is it's, it's not as severe uh uh okay, so Today, the Trump administration added Xiaomi to a blacklist reserved for companies with alleged ties to Chinese military. With today's move, U.S.-based investors will need to remove any and all investments with the Chinese company. This is not the same as the entity list that drastically affected Huawei's business, but it's still not good news. Okay, what about companies that have ties to U.S. military? Right. I'm just saying. It's like, oh, we can't work with Xiaomi because they work with the Chinese military. Well, well what, what about Microsoft? What about Google? Well, so I was reading that what does this mean? If you're concerned about this news, mm -hmm. uh, this news will decimate Xiaomi's business as we've seen with Huawei. That is likely not the case. Xiaomi's presence on the blacklist simply prevents investors based in the, in the U.S., from investing in Xiaomi, you moving the thing. So, oh, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I didn't know you were reading from here. I thought you were reading. Because <laughs> if I read over here, then I'm facing sorry. that way. 
<laughs> Where did I go? I don't know. I remember it was right here it'll keep it'll keep it won't prevent US based firms from selling equipment and materials to Xiaomi. Yeah. It will, however, cause Xiaomi stock to drop. Uh, it will also yeah. cause the company to lose a lot of liquid capital. As American investors sell their stock in Xiaomi by November 11th, 2021. Time will tell whether this will make changes. <laughs> look, look at me. Look, me just ordered his phone, so I feel him. Yeah, he said this is some boo boo. Yeah. Emily Wilson says she wouldn't try to analyze what he does too deeply. I mean, obviously, yeah. it's basically, you know, it it helps Samsung and especially Apple when stuff like this happens. But um, we've talked about this with Keep the Same Energy. It's like, okay, United States government, you guys are worried about other countries having ties to military. So are you telling me that you the U.S. military is now going to not use Microsoft Word? I would say are you telling that me? does not mean your phone won't work. Yeah, not at all. Because Huawei's been on this list for a while. I can still use Huawei devices, mm -hmm. but uh, even though Trump's about to be out of office or whatever, you know, some of these things he's put in place are gonna be around for a couple couple days or however long, you know. Yeah, but it's like if they really do care about a military having access to citizens' information, what about our own military? So that's just yeah. my thought about it. Or our government in general. That's just some BS. Yeah, like Michael Pepper says, his Mate 30 Pro still works fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It just still sucks because it, it um, hinders um, competition and innovation when things like that happen. Right, because I feel like I have to jump out the window to find phones that I was... I found them a lot easier before all of this happened. Yeah. I like having options. Mm -hmm. Although I'm carrying an Apple and a Samsung now, I was mostly the import queen. I didn't use domestic phones. So yeah, and we do. 2020 domesticated her. Yes. <laughs> Although I did have a Vivo and a Huawei this year. Yeah, I have videos on those. Mm -hmm. So we have two more articles, and. I'm just going to call it. We're not going to keep the same energy. We don't have enough time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this article, Amazon, Walmart, tell consumers to skip returns of unwanted items. So in some cases, it's cheaper for the retailers to refund the purchaser price and let the customers keep it or donate the products. So they're like, don't send it back to us. Corona time or just the waste of paying for shipping, packaging, and then sending it somewhere else and trying to figure out where it goes. It makes sense. Well, what ticked me off with Amazon, I actually had one thing that they, my son had ordered a mask and it wasn't like the mouth, mouth mask. This was like, like a masquerade mask. Mm -hmm. And it came in the mail broke. Oh. Broken. And I was like, I just want a refund. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we don't take refunds. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> They just denied a refund, right? But on I was a broken product. That much I ate the price because my son paid for it. But I was just like, "This is some bull!" Like, yeah. Uh, next article. So we're moving in along, y'all. You can unlock super Alexa <laughs> mode. This is a fun, a fun article, y'all. Wow. This okay, is, this, this website is, is messed up. Look at. All this space for an ad. Are you kidding me? This they, they, It takes up one third of the whole website. Y'all suck. The Bible. What is it? Lebible.com. I don't like y'all. Okay. Anyways, you can unlock Super Alexa mode with chi with a cheat code. Uh, you can unlock Super Alexa mode with a simple cheat code and leave ordinary non-Super Alexa behind. Watch it here. Are we going to watch it? Oh, I don't know. I haven't watched it, but I. Okay. It says, which brings up super mode, uh, which you can activate by saying the following. Alexa, up, up, down, down, left, left right, right, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. And Alexa oh. will reply, super Alexa mode activated, starting reactors online, enabling advanced systems online, 
raising dongers or is it dodgers dongers error dongers missing aborting so it's a play on an old video game where this used to be the cheat code for the video game yeah it was a wasn't it tekken or no i can't remember one of those i'm waiting for somebody. <laughs> look look man it's like watch it what does wiretap say huh <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a long. That was when Alexa was first came around. When you would ask Alexa, "Does the CIA spy on me?" Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. "I'm not living to say that" or something like that. Okay, very explaining. Konami cheat code. Well, they say it in the article too. But I thought it was another game that had that. Oh, we activated your Alexa. Sorry, Latrell. Does it every time. <laughs> you should give her another name so that doesn't happen. You know this. You know more than I do. Yeah, mine is named Echo. Say that low, Echo. But look, I'm on the phone with Catwoman the other day, and I didn't say anything close to Siri, and my phone just starts talking. Yeah. A male Siri. So mm -hmm. like, dude, you just being nosy. I didn't call you. Yeah. <laughs> my phone would do that. Like, I'll be working, and then um, I'm talking to a customer on the phone, and then my phone would be like, I didn't understand that. And I'm like, oh, so I turned off the voice activated thing on my watch as soon as I got it, because I'm like, ugh. Is so annoying. Anything that's voice activated on my phone, no, I don't have none of that on because it's just Emily, so annoying. I, think I have the same voice on my. Oh, I was like, I love Australian accents, accents from the UK. It's it's. I got a handful of them that are they're they're ultra sexy to me. <laughs> ultra sexy. Yeah. I call it wiretap. It responds to Alexa. What? <laughs> <laughs> you call it wiretapping. That's hilarious. That's what Mandy said. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, okay. So the brand, the whole company's brand used that cheat code. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. That's cool. Error. 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 <laughs> I can't share Teching Mike's link. Really? Tech King Mike, did you cancel again? Uh oh. <laughs> I gotta go check Twitter now. I wanted to share the link with you guys. I don't see it. Or maybe YouTube is just being dumb with me. I'm confused. I'm gonna go look. I saw it earlier. I know your YouTube be funny sometimes. It'll unsub you from people. Yo, my YouTube it be doing the most. I be sending Gigi the all the weird stuff that it be doing. It's crazy. Sometimes it won't even show me the like button. It's like, you're not allowed to like or dislike this video. I'm like, what? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's your YouTube. That is? Yeah. Can you send me the link? Or can I'm, you put the I'm link in there? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I can put it in too. It's not a big deal, but I did just send it to you. Okay, good. Because I, I need to just like wind down and just like. He said, I'm not like, canceled. I'm here. Okay, good. Good, because I need to wind down and listen to his thoughts. Oh, thank you, Barry. Thank you. I wanted to also share it on um, on all of the other places that we have right now as well. Yeah, you have it a billion times in the chat. I put it in there too. Oh, thanks. Appreciate appreciate my take, y'all. Yeah, man. I've been man. I'm not. I I suck today. Tech King Mike is a mod. He could have put his own stuff in there. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> now, why is my YouTube not showing it? I'm so mad at YouTube. Oh, Barry put out a video last night and YouTube didn't even tell me. I got to, me and YouTube are going to fight. Listen, Latrell, Catwoman is very active on YouTube. So I know it's not because of inactivity. Yeah. <laughs> and she tweets out everybody's videos. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. YouTube has something out against me. It's probably mad because I use it. Yeah, it's probably mad because I use it. One time you were like, you were showing it to us and you were like, what's wrong with this? And I was like, mine ain't doing it. Yeah. Yeah, weirdness. Yeah, YouTube be on that BS, y'all. I'm, I'm proof. I'm proof of that. So we're gonna close it out, y'all. Thank you. Sorry, we're like five minutes over, but I'm if you guys five minutes, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but check out Tech King Mike. I'm sure he's gonna talk about his thoughts and feelers about 
uh, the event today and all things tech. And um, he does have memberships now. So that's awesome. You guys all have a great night. I'm Catwoman. And I'm Gigi the Gadget Goddess. And we are your home girls of tech here at the Gadget Chats podcast. I will see you later. Yeah. Ta-da. Thank you.